let's work on part E and F in this video. So in part E we have the following function, let's crop it and see if that's gonna show us what, what kind of returns to scale that's gonna show us. So we take it like that, we go here below and see what that's gonna give us. So the function now, after we increase the capital and labor by a proportion of C, so C L C K should have written the other way, but it doesn't matter. So this is going to give us C times K to the power of 0 0.5. So we, 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 we add the proportion of C to the capital multiplied with C times L to the power of 0 0.6. And now it's going to be a mathematical work. So we have C to the power 0 0.5 times K to the power 0 0.5 multiplied with C to the power 0 0.6. We're raising every base to that exponent to that power uh, l to the power 0 0.6 as well now as usual let's group the c together to see what the proportion is going to be after we increase the inputs c to the power 0 0.5 times c to the power 0 0.6 that's just c to the power 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 same base at the powers and then we're left with the k to the power 0 0.5 and l to the power 0 0.6 now if we if we simplify this a bit that's going to look like c to the power 1.1 times k to the power 0 0.5 times l to the power 0 0.6 what's k to the power 0 0.5 and l to the power 0 0.6 that's our original original production function that's our original q and the original q increased by a proportion of c to the power 1.1 whereas in the inputs we increase the proportion by c only so we had c to the power of one increase in inputs we have an increase in output of c to the power 1.1 so this is raised to a higher power meaning that the increase in output is greater than the increase in input so this is an example of increasing returns to scale now let's have a look at the last one which is part f so we have it over here this is our function in part f this is going to be our function in part f we have k1 we have k2 so it's slightly more complicated but let's see what's going to work out what's going to work out from there sorry about that that shouldn't be here uh, so let's crop it part f like that let's go here below okay no more space let me go to the right then so over here okay this is the function let's see what's happening if we add some proportions into the inputs so we'll have the function after we add the proportions c k1 c k2 and c l so we add the proportions to all inputs because we apparently have three inputs now that's going to be the following we will have c times k1 to the power of 0 0.3 multiplied with c to uh, times k2 to the power of 0 0.3 as well multiplied with c l to the power 0 0.32 uh, let's work out the math now so this is going to be pretty mechanical so we have c to the power of 0 0.3 times k1 to the power of 0 0.3 property of powers then c to the power 0 0.3 times k2 to the power 0 0.3 from here multiplied with c to the power 0 0.3 and l to the power 0 0.3 as well now we have the we have the we have the constant the proportion we have it here we have it here we have it here let's write it together because it's the same base with different powers that's 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 and then we're left with the remaining k1 to the power 0 0.3 times k2 to the power 0 0.3 times l to the power 0 0.3 now let's make it a bit more organized because we are close to the final answer so what is c to the, all that power well 0 0.3 added three times that's just 0 0.9 times what is k1 times k2 times l all of them to the power 0 0.3 well that's the initial function that's the initial production we can see that the production increased by a proportion to the power of 0 0.9 whereas the input increased by a proportion of c so the input increased by a proportion of c to the power of one the output the output changed by a proportion of 0. Point c to the power of 0. 0.9 which is less than the increase which is less than the increase in the input meaning that this is an example of decreasing returns to scale and this is it we are done